Hi guys, welcome to day five of our seven day yoga challenge, very kindly sponsored by Asquith, which is the yoga brand that I'm wearing throughout this challenge. So today is gonna to be all about balance and concentration. So using that core activation that we used in the last video. And today you might need a block. Don't worry if you don't have a block, use like a book or just something supportive that's gonna like bring the floor to you. And we wanna pop this at the front of our mat. So kind of about here, just in front of your mat. We'll get to it, don't worry about it too much. <laughs> so we're gonna start at an all fours position today. So hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Spread your fingers really wide. And from here, we're gonna go through our cat cow. So as you inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest. And as you exhale, push the floor away. Just begin to articulate through the spine, getting into the breath. Nice, just gently, gently warming up the spine, getting a little bit of movement there. Maybe you can make some irregular movement, shake out your tail, nod out your head, stretch out through the sides, do what feels good. Nice. From here, spread your fingers nice and wide. We're gonna activate our core, just like we did in um, the last video. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, say hello to your abs. So lift up your pelvic floor, Pull your belly button back towards your spine and look in between your thumbs. Keep your neck in line. Nice, keep breathing. No matter what, we keep breathing. Take a nice big inhale. And exhale, drop the knees, untuck the toes. Nice, let's further warm up that core just to prepare us for our balance. So extending that right leg back in space. Take a big breath. As you exhale, bring your knee to your nose, round the back. Nice, inhale, take it back. Exhale, bring it in. Nice, inhale. Last one, squeeze it in, really arch the back. Okay, nice, inhale, take it back. And as you exhale, place it down straight to other, our other side. Extend the left leg back. Exhale, bring it in. Good. Last one, big breath. Exhale, curl the spine. Good, exhale, place it back down. Spread your fingers nice and wide, tuck your toes. Finding your first downward facing dog of the practice, maybe even of the day. So, pedal out through your feet, nod out your head. See how it's feeling. Well, maybe even stillness feels good. Just start to feel that connection with the earth, preparing you for balance. Good, from here we're gonna walk our hands back towards our feet. So take a really easy forward fold. So ragdoll, nod the head, yeah, shake it, no. Maybe catch opposite elbows and shift the weight up in your feet. Maybe it's a gentle rock from side to side or up and down. Nice, allowing your fingertips to drop down towards the mat. Slowly, slowly rebuilding the spine. Take your time. Coming all the way to standing, nice. Let's come into our first balance. So pour the weight into your left leg and pick up your right knee. From here, we're gonna to transition to our tree pose. So tree might be a little tripod. You can have that foot on the floor if you want. It can be on your calf, <laughs> or all the way up on your thigh, whatever's good. Hands at heart center and push your foot against your thigh and your thigh against your foot, and that will keep everything pushing to your middle line and keep you nice and stable. Option here is to maybe grow the branches of your tree upwards and outwards. Keep your shoulders relaxed, smile. Bring your hands back through heart center. We're gonna to transition to our next balance. Pick up that knee, tummy in tight. Remember that core engagement. Press through the heel, warrior three. So just like we did in those other videos, either point the toe or flex the foot, don't be halfway. Good, find your balance, find your concentration, find your focus. Good, walking your hands out to a three-legged dog, keep that right leg raised. Good, take a breath. As you exhale, place it in between your hands. Inhale, rise up to a high lunge. And as you exhale, sink into it. Good, take a big breath. As you exhale, open out to your warrior two. 
Nice, flip your front palm, inhale, reverse. As you exhale, that right hand is gonna come down to your block or the floor if you want to. And begin to stack your hips. So that left hip is gonna come on top of your right. You can keep your hand on your hip if you want or maybe reaching up. Flex the foot. When your leg is firmed up, it's way, way easier to control. Nice. Slowly, slowly, we're gonna transition. Bend a little into your standing leg. Bring the back knee up towards your chest. So we hug that left knee in. Compress that hip flexor for a sec. Nice, keep your foot flexed. We're gonna cross our left ankle over our right knee. Hands into prayer and take a seat. Keep your heart lifted. It's a really nice stretch through the side of that left hip. Nice, inhale, picking up that knee, hands to your waist, and then we're really gonna use our core here. So press the heel away from you. Nice, so it's all about core strength and balance in that standing leg. One more big breath in, kick it up, and exhale, place it down. Whew, well done. Take a little shake out, step your feet together, Find your mountain pose, palms shine forwards. Keep the block exactly where it is. Take a big breath, scoop those arms up. As you exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, press into your shins, lengthen halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step it back, downward facing dog. Nice, from here, walk your hands back towards your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Nice. From here, let's do the other side. So tree on your left side. So if you're higher or lower, make your decision. Try not to kind of hang into your standing leg. Pull up through the core. Make your trunk really stable. Hands can stay here or maybe they reach out and find your focus here. So maybe there's a point that you could just gaze at lightly, which will help your balance. Or if you find it super easy, close your eyes. See if you can flow through with your eyes closed. I don't know why closing your eyes changes your balance, but it does. Good, bring your hands back to center. Prepare yourself, scoop the belly in. Pick up that knee, warrior three. Press through the heel. Slightly squeezing the shoulder blades together making yourself almost into that perfect T shape. Good, with control, fingertips down to the mat, walk it out, three-legged dog. Take a breath. Exhale, step it in between your hands. Nice, inhale, rise up. Exhale, just soften into it. Good, big breath in. As you exhale, warrior two, open out the arms. Flip that front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior, reach back. Exhale, left hand comes to find the block or the floor. And the back leg floats off. Nice. So this hand can stay on your hip. This is fine. You can be here or you can be reaching up. Whoop. If you want to take it even further, look towards your top hand. Nice. Take one more breath. Don't worry if you fall out of it. You can always rejoin. And when you're ready, hugging your right knee in. See if you can do it super, super slow. Good, hug it in nice and close to the chest. Flex the foot, cross it over your left ankle, hands into prayer, take that seat again. So sit down nice and low, shoulders are relaxed, breathe. Good, as you inhale, straighten that standing leg, hands to your waist, core engage. Press that heel away, big toes, like a thumbs up. <laughs> Take a big breath in, kick it up a little bit higher. And exhale, place it back down nice. Give it a little shake out. Well done. Step, step your feet as wide as the mat. Coming into our yogi squat. So hands into prayer, or if you really wanna test your balance, hands overhead. So let's go for this one. Take a big breath in. Exhale, sit down into your yogi squat sitting on those, almost as if you were gonna to touch your heels. See if you can press the weight into the outside edges of your feet. Don't worry if your heels don't reach the mat either, that's totally fine. 
Nice, from here, keep breathing. Maybe the hands come to prayer, this is fine. We're gonna do a little flow here. So bringing your right hand behind you, as you inhale, we're gonna reach up with the left, straighten the legs. As you exhale, switch it over. Inhale, left hand behind, right hand up. So it is a balance. All these shakes and wobbles are good. Inhale, open. Exhale to center. Inhale, fill up, make it bigger. Exhale. One more, each side, inhale. Take it back to your yogi squat. Breathe, press the floor away. Give those hips a little bit of a shimmy out, a shake out. We're gonna to come to balance on our sit bones. So we've done this one before, but if you wanna make it harder, reach your hands up, or your hands can come to your legs for a bit of support. So wherever you are, take a breath. Exhale and go for it. So sit bones down, find that boat pose. Hands can be on the back of your legs. Remember, if you're feeling tired, you know, this is day five, be kind to yourself. So find that balance on both sit bones. Good, hands may become either side. Take a big breath in, lift up. Exhale slowly, slowly, lowering down. Take your time to come all the way down to lying. Breathe, hug your knees in nice and close towards you. Nice, maybe make some circles massage your lower back. Lovely, and just feel that grounding on the upper back and the lower back. Bringing you back down to earth after that balance. Finding a little bit of momentum, rocking forwards and back, forwards and back. Coming to find a comfortable seated position. You can close the eyes if you want to. Maybe have the palms facing down on the knees just to feel a little bit more grounded. Take a nice big breath in through the nose. And let it go through the mouth. And just notice how your body feels now, how your mind feels now. So often with balances, if you find your mind start to wander off the mat, that's exactly when we fall out of that balance. So just check in with how you feel. Thank yourself for this practice. And from me to you, thank you so much for joining me for day five. Day six is all about getting into that deep stretch. So see you tomorrow. Namaste.